Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all. So in this video, I just like to share um, how I use this mini tab to actually predict what will be the next actual gold price. So I have the data here from the third of January two thousand six until fifth uh, of August twenty twenty. So I just want to focus on 2020 data, which is the latest. So for that, I need to extract the uh, year information from date column. Okay, and once I've done this, I need to split this worksheet based on year so that I can focus only uh, at 2020 data sheet. Right. So now, so this is 2020. Okay, let's have a look at the time series plot from this actual uh, Google data that I extracted from uh, one of the website. The Google price. So from this time series plot, yep, it seems that there is some trending, upwards trending. So to proceed with uh, the forecast for the next 20 days from 6 onwards, 6 of August onwards, so I have two choices here. I can use trend analysis and I can also use double exponential. So this is the iterative uh, process that I need to perform. So let's go for the trend analysis first, time series, trend analysis. So we have the gold price as the variable. Okay, it looks like quadratic to me but if uh, I'm not sure about that just try linear first and let's see how the MAPE looks like 2.13 again I would like to try with the quadratic 2.01 okay the lower the MPE the better and let's say if we go for exponential growth 2.06 so definitely from this trend analysis quadratic is the best fit but I need to the trend analysis with double exponential because double exponential also can be used for the data that show trending. So let me go for stat time series double exponential smoothing. Okay, select gold price over here, then click OK first. Uh, this seems better. I have even lower comparing to the quadratic MEP of 0 0.77. Okay, so I will be using this to generate forecast for the next 20 days and see how it looks like okay so this is the forecasted value okay and it will be in between this lower and also upper range so what i need to do next is basically to get new data for 6 of uh, august onwards and compare with this forecast so that is how double exponential smoothing helped me in doing forecast for the gold price thank you